Hey, Bob Sir has old guy geek. I'd like to apologize to my subscribers, especially my recent subscribers. I've been down under the weather a bit for about a month now uh, during the holidays. I'm back, so I hope to publish uh, one Windows desktop, Windows phone a week. Uh, maybe an app uh, review put in there as well. So um, here we go, and thanks for hanging in there. Well, in order to look at Windows 8, let's take a look at Windows 7 first. This is a typical Explorer in Windows 7. You'll see that uh, you have some files here, which uh, I, I show here. And it's really difficult to use the search function in the top right to click on it and say, hey, I want to find this file or that file. So let's just click on there. And I'll see some history there. I'll see some other stuff of what I've done before. But there's there's some things you can click on down here. It's a little confusing to the average person, to me. It was confusing. So how do you sit there and get this to come up like that in Windows 7? And it basically it's hit and miss. But in Windows 8, it's a lot easier. So let's take a look at that. So here we are in Windows 8. And uh, we have our usual view here as far as drives. You notice my C drive here, which is an SSD. It's got some... Um, small amount of space left. I want to clear it up a little bit. Uh, and so we're going to go take a look at how to do that and how to find those files that are really big and, and clogging up your system. Uh, actually, I'm going to demo it on a different drive, but uh, let's take a look. So here we are I'm in the games directory, and you'll see that uh, as I search around, you'll see the toolbar at the top, which is uh, like an office. You'll see that as well, that type of toolbar, expanded toolbar with your functions listed. And it changes your view depending upon what you click on. If you click over here and search now, you'll see that you have some advanced features for searching that are readily available to you. You can do almost anything you want to do over here. You can sit there and there's some predetermined ones here. You just click on those and they'll go ahead and select uh, one of those and it'll filter by that. And you'll see that all of a sudden all your different things come up that you're searching for that particular type of thing. You can click over here and change that to, of course, anything you want. Now, besides the different types, of course, you can come up here and there's other things you can search by. There's a property like the title, which is uh, basically the same thing as name. But uh, you can click on those and it'll filter uh, based on that. Now, some of these searches can take a bit, so you got to be careful what you're doing here. Uh, but then you simply sit there and click in, put the text you want to search by, and there, there comes the file you want to have. So investigate that. Uh, let's say you're working on a doc file, you want to find it. This may be an easy way for you to find a file that you can't find anymore. You just simply go over here and use one of those. But now let's talk about the one thing I talked about a minute ago, and that's about finding those giant files that are listed on your hard drive. Well, if you click on size over here, you'll see that it comes up with a nice list that says what, similar to the list you saw on the right on uh, uh, Windows 7. And you can also sort this, by the way, by size as well, so you get the largest ones at the top. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So now we have a nice listing of our largest files on top, uh, things that are huge. There's the location of the file, the folder. You can make a determination if that's, uh, you want to get rid of that or not. Be careful again, some are system files here. Uh, for These particular ones are for games. Uh, but whatever you're searching for, uh, it can come up and find that file that you are having a tough time uh, locating that the thing that's eating up all your hard drive space. Now, another one you might be interested in using is the one that is the recent ones you've been working on. So you can sit there and click on the uh, day modified, and then you can find there it is. Uh, there's the ones that today or last week or within a certain period of time. Uh, so go ahead and play with your toolbar here. Look around all the different things you can do here. It'll actually help out quite a bit finding uh, things uh, by date, by size, by whatever. So enjoy your new toolbar feature in Windows 8 Explorer. And don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. We have uh, videos on Windows 8, actually Windows 10 now, Windows Phone 8, and some general how-to. Uh, so click on the subscribe link and uh, come join us for uh, an exciting look at all the new features in the various versions of Windows.